Hola, soy Tisa. Mucho gusto. Hi, everyone. Welcome. I hope that you're having a great, wonderful day. Happy birthday to the sign of Gemini. I really do hope that you are enjoying your birthday. Just so you guys can know, I did put messages up um, today on this channel right here for air signs, earth, water, and fire signs. So definitely take a look at those. I did put messages up uh, for the shorts. So if you look at the shorts on the top of the page and you'll be able to see your specific message for your sign. I did that as well. Another thing I wanted to mention though is that um, this reading right here is very general. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, don't make it fit here if it's not a story. Okay, let's see what we have coming up here. This message right now, that's for the collective. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, allow me now to be the channel lead for the collective. Okay, this is May the 31st through June the 3rd, 2023. Not sure if I said happy birthday to Gemini, but anyways, happy birthday, Gemini. Choose wisely is right there. We have right here this judgment card, the sacrifice card. And we have the truth right here. So two major arcanas are sitting out here right here. At the bottom of the deck, we have another one right here. Yeah. So this is the tower. So the tower is something here that's seriously happening right now. It's seriously happening here, okay? Choose wisely is what we have here, which is equivalent to the seven of cups, right? Sacrifice, judgment card right here, all right? And then we have right here the truth right here, all right? Justice, all right? So karma, okay, so something here is karma, okay, yeah. All right, let me put this down here. Okay, let's get now um, some cards right here on top for the Kipper card right here and see what else they want to add to this conversation to us, for us right now. Okay, so we have this family room here. Okay. And then let's see what else we have here. Sacrifice. Okay. We have right here Sutton Wealth. And one more card, please, for the truth card. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels here. The gift card right here. At the bottom of the deck, we have this wealthy man right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of this and see what it's saying here. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, allow me now to be the channel here for this collective. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the messages, please? Yeah, I'm hearing like the harp is sounding or some instruments, okay? Maybe somebody's a musician or something in here, okay? These is in reverse or what? This is put down here in reverse. I'm going to leave it in reverse and I'm going to check this deck real quick and make sure they're all in the upright. But that one did flip out of reverse just now. I, you know, I don't mind reading in reverse, but I just like them to be in the upright and then they can fall in reverse and then I'll take them like that. But I just want to make sure my deck is all in the upright. Yes, some of these are in reverse, okay? I do apologize to you guys about that, okay? But I'm going to put them in the upright and they can fall out here in reverse, okay? If they decide to do so. Okay, so I'm getting like Lydia or um, I'm also hearing Kemp, K-E-M-P, all right? Or, yeah, I feel like Kemp, but for some reason, I also feel like Camp could be significant, okay? What else is going on here, here? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay, there you go. All right. So the Queen of Swords is over here and on top of the Choose Wisely card. Choose wisely right here because the Queen of Swords is here. Ooh, Lord have mercy. The Queen of Swords right here. Somebody here that's very intelligent right here. Absolutely, okay? They're intelligent. They're very factual. They're very mentally strong in some way. Could be a crazy sleep or Gemini. Certainly could be any sign at all. What is this one? The Five of Swords is reversed right here. Okay? So the Five of Swords right here is a card about being deceptive. And so... Wow. So if somebody here is being deceptive in some type of way, they better choose wisely over here when it comes down to the Queen of Swords. Okay? It could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or anybody can embody the Queen of Swords. Somebody that's mentally strong or intelligent or something like that, right? So, yeah, you know, choose wisely. They think they can defeat the Queen of Swords because the Five of Swords could be a card of defeating it. Maybe somebody thought they could, could defeat the Queen of Swords, all right? What else is going on here? Choose wisely, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. All right, so we have right here the Knight of Coins right here. Yeah, they have to be realistic. Somebody here is the Queen of Swords, okay? They're very intelligent in some type of way. Okay, they're 
They had to choose wisely right here. Think they could defeat this Queen of Swords in some type of way. And this also could be a message right here for the Queen of Swords. Maybe the Queen of Swords, whoever that is, um, needs to choose wisely about something right here. Okay, so somebody has to be realistic in some way right here with a Knight of Coins right here. All right. What, what else is going on here? Family room? It's a family room card. Family room card, please. Do we swear, holy angels? All right, this one right here. Seven of wands right here. Okay, let me see what this one is. Four of cups. King of swords. Wow. So, the way this... Okay, first of all, this is the card we talk about, the family room, okay? This family room is empty, okay? This king of swords, take a look at him. First of all, you can't even really see his eyes or anything else right here in this deck right here. All right? I feel like somebody's spying on you in secret, I kind of feel. Or somebody's disguised in some way. Maybe they have a fake account or I'm not sure, but they're disguised in some way. Or maybe they're not being real could be the case right here, okay? Because you surely can't even see their eyes or anything. Do they have a soul? I don't know, but anywho. So, um, yeah, all right. Seven of Wands. Somebody's blocking them, I feel, all right? Or something here's a great big challenge right here in some type of way, okay? If they're being deceptive or if... Um, something here is not what it appears to be, I feel, because he surely doesn't have any eyes. You can't see, like, nothing. You can't see him. Like, you can't see his arms, his hands, anything like that here. Okay? Okay? So, the four cups right here. Something could be a missed opportunity in some type of way. Or if somebody ghosted you or something like that. I'm getting like, that's the truth right here. Okay? Now, this King of Swords made me feel like a fake account or a fake person. Something fake up here over here. And this is on top of this family room right here. That's empty. Okay, so I feel like they had to choose wisely right here, okay, in some way. And I got the King of Swords down here and the Queen of Swords is down here, okay, with the message. Anything else right here, this family room? Okay, so let's see what this one is. Yeah. This one is saying four of wands. See, this is a relationship. I got the king and the queen of swords right here. Okay. So somebody here has to be realistic right here. They met their match. We got the king and the queen of swords here. Okay. They've met their match right here. They have to be realistic about a relationship or a project or something like that. They have to really be realistic about something like that. I'm getting right here. Okay. Yeah. I got two fours here. Somebody's protected in some way here. Something like that. Do I have two? Yeah. I got two fours right here. Four cups and a four of wands. Okay, so, you know, these four, somebody's paying attention to something right here. I feel like somebody's just as smart as you or something like that, okay? So, this sacrifice card right here. And then we have Sutton Wealth is right here. All right. I'm hearing charm. I'm getting, like, bracelet. I'm getting, like, um, <sighs> charisma. All right, what's the sacrifice? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's the sacrifice card over here? Five of Cups. See, somebody's a regret about something right here. You know, the Five of Cups right here is a card of regrets, grief, and sorrow right here. See how the person's looking right there? Okay. Yeah. They even got tears rolling down their eyes. So I feel like somebody is shedding a tear. If you can see right there, the woman's shedding a tear right there. And they, they're shedding a tear and, and regret about something over here. Could be a woman or anybody else it could be. Okay. Yeah, the Queen of Cups could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio right here. Okay, so somebody's a regret right here that you sacrificed something or you realized something right here about a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Something like that. Yeah, the lover's card right here. You could even realize about sexuality. Maybe somebody realized that, okay? Maybe you realize about somebody else's sexuality or you realize what you want here sexually. Could be the case right here with these two right here. Okay. Three of Cups, or somebody realized who their third party was, or something like that. Okay, they do realize it. I feel right here for some people right here. Okay, they realize it. Right here, okay, and somebody could have sacrificed some situation right here because you know they have a third party, something like that. All right, or this even could be if you did sacrifice something here. Okay, let's not make light of it. This woman here is shedding tears. I feel like you shed a tear about something right here. Something was hurtful about something right here. What's that something well? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's this something love card over here? Okay, so here we have the two of wands right here. Okay. 
So the two of wands is at a fork in the road. It's yes or no, wrong or right. Okay. Somebody's a regret right here about a third party or they regret about you. So go ahead. Like they either could have had a child with something wrong. Seven of coins right here. And a page of swords. Some of you know something here about a child. Okay. All right. Yeah. Or somebody's heartbroken right here that you realized about the water sign because they wanted to have a child. Could be the case. Some of you could have realized something here about a child in any kind of way. Okay. That's what I'm getting right here. Seven of cups right here and a page of swords right here. I feel like something's wishful thinking. Some plans they was doing in some way. Or some way somebody went in some situation right here. Okay. What's the message right here? Certain wealth right here. Eight of wands right here. You know, somebody says so much regret that you know something here is about money in some way. Or you know about money or children or some plans about money. Okay. Maybe you even spoke out some plans they was doing here about money. You know that? You know, or something like that here. Right. So that's what they regret about. Some people here. Okay. That you know about the water sign. Maybe the water sign was giving them money. Could be it. Okay. This truth card right here. But the truth is coming out here. There's the truth right there. Okay. The gift. All right. So let's see here. What's the truth card right here? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. All right. Truth card right here. We have the five of coins right here. The truth is that somebody's left out in the cold in some type of way right here. Could be the case. All right. There even could be something here about a house. Because the five of coins could represent a house too in some way right here. Okay. Somebody could have realized something about a house. All right. Knight of coins reverse. No, it's this knight or king. King of coins right here is reverse. Yeah. So the king of coins right here. Right there. All right. It's the king of pentacles is reverse. Okay. So somebody stuff out in the cold from the house or something like that, I feel. Yeah, the king, the queen of coins is in an upright, okay? So, I feel like, yeah, all right? So, some, the truth that somebody's left out in the cold from you or some money you have or some house you have, okay? That's the truth right here? Yeah, the some cycles complete like that, okay? The world card right here. Some of you, you may have a new cycle with a new house or something like that, okay? What's the gift card? Some of you even could be gifted a house, Okay, some reason I'm looking at this gift box as keys, so it could be keys to a house or keys to anything. Okay, now the cups, yes, yeah, so something here, life is good in some type of way about some key I feel like that you have or some gift that you have. It could be somebody's gifting you a house. Okay, yeah, Queen of Wands right here. Yes. Okay, I'm hearing never basic. I don't, I don't know why. I just know God there out of nowhere. I'm going to like never basic right here. Okay, could be a fire sign or anybody else. Okay, anybody, somebody could realize your gift to them. The heck is going on with them? I feel something like that. Yeah, the king of wands right here. Okay. Now, some of you also could be realizing right here, that there's another relationship here. Could be the case here. Okay, yeah. So I'm getting right here because this is the queen and the king of pentacles right here. Coins in this deck, okay? And then over here, I have the king and the queen of wands over here, up here, okay? So I'm not sure if there is two houses or two keys or um, definitely two relationships, I feel, okay? Somebody's left out in the cold on one of these relationships, I feel, okay? Because somebody did have another relationship, I feel. Okay, so this one right here is the sun card right here, all right? And then we have the devil. All right, let me see if I can get this one that flipped over there. Oops. Okay, go back and fix all of this. I can't believe. All right. All right, this is the one that flipped over here on the floor. It is a knight of coins right here, and I'm going to put it back into the deck. But, yeah. So somebody had two relationships, I feel, over here. Okay? And now I feel like somebody realized you was a gift and they wish they could come back over here in this relationship with you. That's the kind of feel. The sun card right here. All right? Yeah. Because something could be about your house. I'm feeling like it's somebody really loves, I feel, for some of you right here. Yeah. Because I just keep hearing never basic. I'm like, this house is not basic and you're not. Something like this. Something here's not basic or something like that. I'm getting right here in some type of way. But anyway, this is the wealthy man right here, all right? 
And then we had the Time World people. So what's this wealthy man? Sorry. What's the wealthy man right here? What's the wealthy man? Okay, right here. He had the Ace of Cups right here. Somebody's house. Yeah, something about somebody's house. I'm getting right here. Okay, the Ace of Cups. I mean, we're getting, we're getting like somebody could want to be in love. So they could have felt in love with somebody over here. The, the Cancer right here, the Two of Swords right here. Or maybe somebody here, they wasn't open up to you because they was with a Cancer. Could be the case. Or they wasn't open up to the Cancer or the Capricorn. Okay, right here. The Chariot and the Devil card right here. Right? Eva could be right here, yeah. Somebody was tempted, I feel, by a Cancer right here or a Capricorn. I'm getting right here. Two of Swords right here. Feel like they was right here. Look, look at the devil card. The woman sitting up here, and then look at the people down there. I don't know if you can see it. There's people down there making love or whatever they're doing down there, okay? <laughs> and they wait. Um, the chart is right here. Well, they never seen that you knew about ancient energy or something. See how these got the um. The, the, the tombs down there, the tombstones down there, and everything like that. So I'm getting like, maybe somebody didn't know that you knew about something like that. Could be the case here. Okay, or you knew how to make big time money, something like that. I'll get with the wealthy man card. All right, what's the disruption card? Okay, because I'm here like Marvel not. Somebody's not. Somebody's not. Okay, I'm right here. All right. So somebody having anxiety now about the Scorpio right here. Or something like that. They have an anxiety right here. Nine of swords right here. And a death card. And then we got the tower. So something here is disrupted in some type of way. Some illusion or something is disrupted here in some way, I feel. Okay. Could be um a, a relationship. The ten of cups could be a showing of family right here. All right. Page of wands right here. High priestess and a page of wands right here. There's something here could be a secret that somebody knows about. Maybe somebody here knows about a younger fire sign right here with a high priestess and the page of wands. Could be the case right here. Right? Or somebody has a love over here that's a fire sign right here. Seven of swords. There you go. So that's what I'm getting here. Somebody knows somebody met a fire sign over here, I feel. That's a time war. Yeah. What a fire sign knows about. Okay? Some secret love I'm getting right there. Right? Nine of coin. Yeah, somebody somebody over here is being single. Could be a Virgo. They might have a secret love over here that's a Virgo. Something like that. Six of swords right here and the five of wands right here. So I'm just getting like full motion right here. The Virgo knows about it or something. That's some conflict here, some type of thing. Even the butterfly, maybe somebody transformed or something ch changed right here in some way here. That's a tower revelation that somebody has changed or they had awakening. Okay. I'm getting like this Leo or the Virgo did right here. Yeah, all right. Somebody, somebody realized right here they was having one night stands, or there could be a third party here for some people here. Okay, and I feel like they had to choose wisely about something like that. Could be the case. All right. I'm getting over here. Somebody had a one night stand over here with a Leo, okay, or a Virgo right here. All right. I was telling the water signs. I feel like somebody can feel this energy right here. How somebody's acting is changing in some way. I feel. All right. Let me see what these cards right here want to add. To this conversation here. Pink. Okay. Transformations and improvements right here. This one's sticking out right here. It says your life is changing in a big way right now. Okay. Nine six that's something here. Somebody had awakening. Right here, nine six three. It's a frequency that you can listen to. It's the most powerful. It's the crown chakra one. Right? It's like being aware of something here. That's something here. Somebody is very much aware. That somebody's changes, whatever changes is going on, they could have had a one night stand. Somebody knows that right here. Okay, the seven of swords is right there with the tower. So somebody start changing and somebody knows that, I feel. Okay, your life is changing in a big way right here. Something here is going to change right here concerning your love life, I feel, for some people right here. Okay. Or how you do love, or I'm getting like you're going to pay attention to love or something. All right. To lovers. And some energy when it starts shifting, okay? Because people start shifting. They had a one-night stand over here, I feel, for somebody here, right? Right here. 
They had one night stand and they started changing in, in their energy in some way. Somebody pays attention to that or somebody does know that, I feel. Okay. Revelation right here. They're going to have a revelation about it, I feel. This right here is divine intervention right here. Yeah. It's pretty. Okay. That's what I have. Anything else? One more. That's it right here. One more, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One more. For the collective right now. Anything else here? Okay. Here we go. And it says fashion like never before right here. So I'm getting like, you really, really look good. I tell you that right here. You're going to really start changing your fashion, I feel like, too, right here. For some of you right here. Okay. Yeah. You're seeing results right here in some way. All right. That's what I'm getting here. Some changes is definitely going to start happening. Your life is going to be changing in a big way. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning to this message right now. I thank you all peace, blessings, love, and light. And we'll get back together again soon. Namaste to you.